hi guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial this is Angela I'm here thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos so today we are going to be making a beginner sewing project actually we're going to be making a diaper cover for a six months old so if you're interested let's get started all right, I have my fabric here, as you can see. This is just a flowered fabric, cotton fabric, and I'll be using a little from this to make this diaper cover. So here I have my paper, and we're going to start by drafting out the pattern. Remember I said this is going to be for a six months old. So here I am working with 20 by 14 inches. Okay, this is 14 inches here, as you can see, this is 14 inches. So this other way is 20 inches. I'm going to fold into four. You know the way you fold when you want to make a circle dress. So I'll just fold this into two like this. And then I'm going to fold it over again. So here I have it in four parts. Okay, so now this part that is facing me, as you can see, it is closed, although it's into two, but it's closed, while this other end is open. So now for this side that is open, I am going to mark, I'm going to mark four inches. From this part that is open, I will mark four inches. So this is four inches here. Hope you can see what I am doing. So this is four inches. I'm going to mark it there. And then for this other side that is close to me, which is closed, I will mark three inches. So this is three inches, and then I'm going to connect to a straight line. Now you can actually make this in less than 10 minutes. So after that, I'm going to cut that off. So this is it after cutting it off. Now I am going to open it up. One side is going to be for the front and the other side is going to be for the back. Okay, so this side is going to be the back and this side is going to be the front. So we're going to start with this part that is going to be for the back. Now here is going to be the thigh area. So I'm going to check what I have here and then get the mid point. So here I have five and a half. So the mid point is two and three quarter, which is here. Okay, so on that mid point, I will go up by half an inch. And then I'm going to connect. Okay, and then I will do the same to this other end. Okay, so you just connect to give it that slight curve on this tie area this is for the back remember that so now for this front for this part that is front remember that i used four inches so i'm going to bring it down and then i will square it up nicely So this is what you should have after squaring it up 
nicely so from this point i'm going to mark two inches and also two inches from this end so this is two inches here and this is two inches here as well so i'm going to curve it using the edge of my armhole curve so i'll just place it this way and curve and our pattern is ready it's very easy so this is what i have i'm going to cut it out now so we can place on our fabric and start the sewing so this is how you cut So after cutting it out, this is what I have, as you can see, alright, this is very easy, okay, so now I am going to close the sides together, you just turn it this way, this is the wrong side and this is the right side, I am going to join the sides together, but before that, you'll be needing your elastic for this, now remember that I want to make this in a way that it will not pinch the baby uh, blood vessels especially on the thigh area so for that i'll be using this elastic for the thigh area i'll be using this quarter this is a quarter inch elastic as you can see so i'll be using this type and it's very loose it's not that strong i'll be using this type for the thigh area and here i have my half an inch elastic this is going to be for the waist area. This is a little strong, so I'll be using this for the waist area. Now I have 14 inches here. That is for the one on the waist area. This is 14 inches. You know, the waist uh, measurement for a six month old is 19 inches. All you need to do is to minus five inches from that, and then you have 14 inches. Or better still, you can just use half of what you're working with. For this, I have 14 inches here. Remember, that is what you're working with, 14 inches. Since it's 2 now, this is 28 inches. So you can just use half of whatever you're working with on the waist area. So I have my 14 inches, and for the thigh area, I want it very free. So here I have my 9 inches. This is going to be for the thigh. I have two of it. One is going to be for this, and this other side is going to be for this area so i'm going to keep this aside and stitch the sides together so we can finish up all right here it is after joining the sides together as you can see so this is what i have i'm going to use quarter an inch again to sew it as it is so i'll just sew it all the way down to this thigh area and then i'll open this part up this way and then bend it over and top stitch on it so i'm going to repeat the same on this other side so before all that i'm going to be cutting out the ruffles remember i'll be adding a ruffle to this um diaper cover and to do that i'll just take whatever i have here as the length here all right after joining it this is what i have i just top stitch like i explained earlier so at this point i am going to attach the ruffles that i said i'll be putting on this so i'll be making mine two layers if you want you can also make it one layer if you want you can also cut out your ruffle in a circular or in a circle way so whichever one you prefer so all i'm going to do now is to make the first layer i'll check what i have on this waist area and then i'll add a little inches to that for the first layer so this is 11 and a half that is to say i have 
23 inches for both the front and the back that's 23 inches then the length of my ruffle i'm going to use the length of this that is from the waist to the thigh this is six inches so i'll be making it the two layers i'm going to make it um to be six inches the first layer i'll be cutting out um uh, five inches while the second one i'll be cutting out four inches okay i will explain why i said that so i'm going to keep this aside and show you the one i've cut out already so this is it here this is a long strip i'll be using this one now for the upper one that is the first layer while this four inches is going to be the second layer and it's going to be inside so this is four inches here after uh, folding this same part it is now three inches so this is the first one this is five okay this is five inches i'm going to fold it as well so that i'll have a clean work there so now you can see that this first one is short while the second one is very long reason being that this second one i am going to um, gather it a bit all right before joining it to this one so here i have for this first one i have i just added few inches to the waist measurement so here is 27 remember that the waist measurement is 20 Three. So I just added extra four inches to that just to create that little ease and then for the second layer I have I have almost 42 so all I did remember that the length the waist length is 23 so you can just add between 15 to 20 inches extra to that just to give it that more fluffy look so and as you can see I've used my gather stitch to run it and I'm going to pull this one first so i'm going to gather it till i have 27 which is what we have here and then i will now join it on this one after that i will just take this now and join it exactly on the waist of this so we can just finish up so here it is as you can see i just finished uh, pulling this okay i just as you can see it's just a little gather and i just make sure that it's the same length with this first layer okay so now i'm going to place it under this so you're going to place it under this way and then i'll i'll sew then i'm going to sew it on that line you can also turn it the other way and then just stitch it together with the upper one so i'll just stitch it all the way down you can decide to make it say one and a half or two inches upward this way okay this is two inches it's very okay so i'll just stitch it together with this one until i get to the other end so after that i'll now close the sides together so we can attach it together with this on this waist line so let me just quickly do that and then remember on this part you're going to notch so that you trim we're going to fold this part and then use a pin safety pin and then put the elastic on this tie area so to make it easier for you just give it a notch here and there and also on this side so that by the time you fold it in it is going to be very free and easy for you to do that so i'm going to quickly stitch all this and then remember to leave the opening that you're going to use to pass your elastic in so let me just quickly stitch all this and join it together so we can finish up so this is it after attaching my elastic on this side like i said just fold it in and then leave space for you to attach the elastic so this is how i join the ruffles on the waist exactly on the waist so at this point i'll just fold it in this way and i'm going to double it but make sure that what you fold you should have space for your elastic okay so i'm going to take it now as it is and sew it all the way around and then i will leave a space to pass in my elastic and then that is how easy it is to just make a diaper cover for a baby this is for three to six months and um, maybe in the future i will upload the one for one year to two years so let me just join this in and show you the final look all right this is what i have after putting the elastic on the waist and as you can see it's already looking so beautiful if you want you can also make the first layer to be exactly like the second layer so that that is if you want 
more ruffles to your own but this is what i want and it's very okay so if you're making like a birthday party dress or a christening outfit you can also use your satin to make a matching outfit to make something like this for that outfit and it's going to turn out very well so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i will see you all in my next video